Hey guys, Benjamin David from the Board Game Vault, and today we are looking at the Dice Face Player Core Vault from Zuccotti. Now, Zuccotti Corp makes lots of cool different things. They've got other various types of dice bases or kind of storage units for your dice. Uh, they've got dice flumes and towers. They've got, uh, they even make their own kinds of dice, everything from steel dice to even titanium and zirconium. So a lot of cool stuff. Check out the links in the description below or at the end of the video and prepare to drool. All right, so in the meantime, let's check out this bad boy. All right, so this guy starts at $25 a pop. That comes in either cherry or oak. It's another $10 for the leather insert, which you'll see in a second, plus shipping and handling. So not bad at all, 35 bucks and change, and this bad boy will be on your doorstep. Uh, this one is bird's eye maple. It's got gorgeous grain, a very nice and smooth finish. I love the rounded corners, looks great. Simple design, aesthetically pleasing. And again, if you want to pay extra money, there's different woods and kind of some more exotic types that you can choose from. All right, so this guy is really in a two-piece kind of clamshell design. There's the top and sides. And then on the bottom, you've got the Zuccotti logo engraved on the bottom. And then the top is clean for those of us who are purists, as well as if you want to engrave something yourself, either a picture or a logo, then the top is available for that. All right, so the two pieces are held together by four magnets in the corners. Now, to open it, I mean, you're not really gonna be able to just pull the two pieces straight apart. Those magnets really are pretty strong. But if you give a little force to the sides at the corners, uh, then that guy is gonna open up really pretty easily. So there is the inside. It looks wonderful. Again, the player core vault doesn't come with any stuff anything inside, but I'm just showing you that for the purposes of the video, just to clarify. So on the left, you've got your dice tray portion. So whether it's small dice or big dice, you've got that nice leather pad insert if you wanna get that. As we mentioned before, I believe that's oil tan, so got a nice finish on that. It's a nice thick piece of leather, and yeah, it rolls great. Um, obviously, I've got speed cloth on my table, and that's kind of all the rage these days. But I really do like this leather. It's nice. Keeps it quiet. Um, obviously, you got the sides to keep stuff contained. I mean, it's a dice tray. It does what dice trays do. But that's pretty cool. I like the leather. It's got a kind of a studly look to it and does what it needs to do. All right, so on the right side, obviously, you've got six rows for mainly dice or whatever else you want to put in there. You can put other game components or chits or... Um, even miniatures, if you wanted to, you could put some phone in there and put some small miniatures or figurines in there. And then what's really nice is they made these long enough, not only for full sets of polyhedron dice or D6 dice, but also long enough so that you can put a, a pen or pencil in there. So I've got a pen there, I've got a pencil there. Um, so for being a small little storage guy, this thing holds a lot. Uh, I think it can hold nine D6s, so nine times six. You got 54 D6s you could put in there if you want. And then if you fill it up with a bunch of polyhedral sets, then you've got two, four, six, seven times one, two, three, four, five, six. So you could probably get about 42 of those dice in there. No, you could probably fit a couple more if you really wanted to squeeze them in there. So probably 50 to 60 dice if you really wanted to, to squish them in, as well as whatever else you can fit in those rows. Now, if there's other stuff you want to fit in here that doesn't look like it's going to fit in the row, remember that you've also got this space that can hold stuff as well. So, for instance, let's say you want, these are some of my favorite pencils, those good uh, Triconderogas, love these things. So, obviously, that's a little bit too long to fit in the row, but you can place that diagonally, and that'll still fit in the top, which is nice. And then let's say you've got a character sheet or rules or kind of a player aid that you want to put in. Maybe you've got pieces for a certain game in there. We can just set that on top. And again, that's going to fit up there. So that fits pretty slick and everything's going to gonna stay, stay in position pretty well. Again, the only reason something would come out of place is if it's thinner than this is because these dividers go up as high as this does. So it'd have to be a pretty small piece for it to come loose when you're carrying it around. One thing I do want to mention is I was a little bit worried about how this would travel. Now again, this is very high quality. It's nice and solid and it's a great storage device. It's really cool to have your dice and your dice pad with you, which is super cool. But I was curious, how strong really are these magnets? 
And all I can say is they are super strong. There's really, there's almost no way that you can just pull this thing apart. I mean, I can just hold the top and just shake it and it's, it's not budging. So that is super solid. This thing travels really well. Uh, you just have to know to, to put the force in the right direction and it does come off pretty simply, which is great. Another little thing that these magnets are going to do is uh, it also kind of keeps the pieces together when it's on the table. It's not like it's that big of a deal, but it's kind of nice that it'll just kind of keep it clean and there's a little, little power to keep those pieces close together, which is nice. Also, let's say you want to kind of save some space on the table and either just have your pieces available to you or maybe you don't need to have your storage open, but you just want your, your dice, your dice tray, you know, you can put one under the other and those magnets are going to kind of, kind of keep it in place, which is nice. So I kind of can just sit on the table, save a little space. So it's a pretty versatile little design, simple, but functional and provides you lots of options. But I gotta say, I am really impressed with this thing. Also, it smells amazing. The leather and the wood, oh, so nice. So I would say great quality. This is great if you want to store stuff. This is great if you want to take stuff with you. I mean, I would say load this thing up with your specialty dice, a pen or pencil, and man, this is ready to go anywhere you want. Top notch review, beautiful. So there it is, the Player Core Vault from Zucati. Again, they have a ton of other great products, so check the links uh, below or at the end of the video and uh, see what they have. Well, I'm Benjamin David from the Board Game Vault, and if you're interested in more board game videos, including our clear and concise two-minute reviews, then like this video and subscribe. Game on, my friends!